In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Good morning and welcome to our service here on the fourth Sunday of Advent. We obviously, many will wake up today with the disappointing news about Christmas. And it is a hard time. It is often when families want to meet and many have been hanging on this year for meeting at Christmas. People's safety is always at the heart of what we need to prioritise. But I appreciate that being here in Tier 1, probably luckier than most. But now we start with a hymn. When the Lord comes, he will bring to light the things now hidden in darkness and will disclose the purposes of the heart. Therefore, in the light of Christ, let us confess our sins. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you. Pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And let us light our fourth candle on the Advent wreath. God our Father, the angel Gabriel, told the Virgin Mary that she was to be the mother of your son. Though Mary was afraid, she responded to your call with joy. Help us, whom you call to serve you, to share like her in our world your love and healing. We ask this through Jesus Christ, the light of who is coming into the world. Lord Jesus, light of the world, blessed is Gabriel who brought good news. Blessed is Mary, your mother and ours. Bless your church preparing for Christmas and bless us, your children, who long for your coming. So let us pray. 
God our Redeemer, who prepared the Blessed Virgin Mary to be the mother of your Son, grant us she look for his coming as our Saviour, so we may be ready to greet him when he comes again as our Judge, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Romans. To God who is able to strengthen you, according to my gospel and the proclamation of Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery that was kept secret for so long, but is now disclosed, and the through the prophetic writings it made known to all Gentiles, according to the command of the eternal God, to bring about the obedience of faith to the one only wise God, through Jesus Christ, to whom be the glory for ever. Amen. This is the word of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. In the sixth month the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary and he came to her and said, Greetings, favoured one, the Lord is with you. And she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favour with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be holy, he will be called Son of God. And now, your relative Elizabeth in her old age has also conceived a son, and this is the sixth month for her, who was said to be barren, for nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, Here I am, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. This is the Gospel of the Lord. May I speak in the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. We hear almost that part where we're going to hear about Mary being told that she's going to bear God's Son. And she was afraid. The angel said, do not be afraid, and of course, as we had the announcement yesterday, people are worried about Christmas. They're worried about not seeing family. They will have also thought that certainly for those of us here in Cornwall, people were going to travel down, spend Christmas with us. So there's the presents. How are the presents going to get to them? Do not be afraid. These things will sort themselves out. 
throughout this year. The very part of the this year we heard about this this flu, this really bad case of flu known as coronavirus by March meant that we were locked down. What we saw was an outpouring of love. And as we reach now in this final stretch towards Christmas, we need to be reminded of that love. The first Christmas was a very simple affair. Make do. Make do with what we've got. Mary and Joseph turned up at the inn and there was no room. I have a stable. In the stable was a manger, said the innkeeper. All words to those effect. I wasn't there. I don't know exactly what he said. But they may do with what they've got. This wasn't how it panned out. Joseph was on this trek. He was on this journey with Mary who was heavy with child. 2,000 years before you had travel lodges and that kind of place. There was no room. He had to make do. What we see is a very simple Christmas where this baby is born. Christmases this year aren't going to be so grand. I was saying on the radio today that... Throughout this year, people have either drunk more or drunk less. It seems to be at the extremes. And I'm sure there's people who've been saving up for Christmas. Some people make the most big event of Christmas. You've only got to see them shopping. Two, three trolleys. This year... Boxing Day, a lot of supermarkets are closed. So I don't know what people will be doing. It's a a glorified Sunday lunch. I joked this week with someone, it's a Sunday lunch with sprouts. There has to be something about sprouts on Christmas Day. I'm getting ready for... Christmas Day, last year and this year I'd been hoping to do it again, is I used Traverbing Community Hall to invite for people who are going to be on their own to come together. Something I've wanted to do for several years. This year, due to the coronavirus, I can't do that. So what we're doing is we're cooking food and we're delivering it out. I went yesterday and I've got the presents that need now wrapping to be delivered with them. And I never thought anything about it. I thought this really wasn't about what it was. It's not about delivering food. My Christmas Day, St. Joseph's Christmas Day mission was very much about bringing people together. And then a social worker rung me up to arrange the delivery of a meal for someone. And she said, you dropping that meal off will be the only person that this lady will see on Christmas Day. You dropping a meal off would also show that she has been thought about. And that suddenly changes everything. That suddenly changes how things are going to be. But there will be this sense that we will be dropping this meal off. And actually, in some ways, it's the seeing people. It's probably more important than the food. Just dropping the meal off to, for this person, whoever it is, to show they've been thought about, they haven't got to struggle to cook. And so it is going to be a different Christmas. This final week will be very different. This run up to Christmas, Christmas. Services are going to be different. There will be a midnight mass or a first mass of Christmas available from six o'clock on Christmas Eve. There will be a service the Sunday after available from 9.30. 
tomorrow night our virtual Christmas carol service. Been hoping to welcome Wash Away West Gallery Choir to Rascola Chapel to sing some old Cornish carols. But that can't happen. So we've gone virtual. And it'll be some traditional carols, some old carols. I've got people who are, have recorded themselves to deliver the readings. It's going to be a wonderful thing. And that's seven o'clock tomorrow night. So we can celebrate Christmas. We can celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ and the wonderful joy that that will bring. Christmas will be different. And on this third, fourth Sunday of Advent, let's remember those words that the angel Gabriel said to Mary, do not be afraid. Let's not be afraid. Let's just stay safe. Amen. Let us declare our faith in God as we say together. We believe in God the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named. We believe in God the Son, who lives in our hearts through faith and fills us with his love. We believe in God the Holy Spirit, who strengthens us with power from on high. We believe in one God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Loving Father, in this last week of Advent, let us think about the joy that we will feel on Christmas Day when your only Son came into the world. We also think of those families that are now disappointed with the further lockdown measures that they won't become to be able to come together. We pray for those who will not see family now that they would have seen at least at Christmas time, possibly not having seen them all year. We pray for the church. As we tell that story of the birth of Jesus to sometimes new ears, that familiar story of comfort and joy. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for a healthy and peaceful Christmas. As coronavirus' cases creep up, let us remain cautious and vigilant to ensure we protect those we love. Let us give thanks to the NHS workers that will continue working over the Christmas break, tending to those in their care. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the work of St. Joseph's Mission, unable to hold the dinner this Christmas day. We pray for those who have donated towards the meals that will be delivered to people in their homes. For those who are lonely, recognising that that visit and that delivery of the Christmas dinner and a present may be the only person that people, some people will see on Christmas Day. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for all teachers and those working in education settings. At the end of term, on what has been a very turbulent year, we give thanks for their continued effort, inspiration and motivation to help students and pupils continue their learning. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are homeless during these cold, dark and very wet winter nights. We think of those who are lonely, isolated and sleeping in unsheltered conditions. May the Holy Spirit bless and protect them and keep them safe. We pray for those whose homes and businesses have been affected by flooding. Particularly at this time, we pray for those as they 
clear up and those who have assisted. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for the church at this special season of Advent. We pray for those who will be leading very different worship this year. As we continue and find new and imaginative ways to connect with believers, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we bring before you those who are sick. Particularly, we pray for Margaret, for Paul, for Colin, for Sarah, for Isabel, for Morley and for Rachel. Bring your healing presence to be with all those who suffer in body, mind or spirit. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Lord, we pray for those who've died, particularly for Steph, for baby Sonny, for Diana, for Tom, for Horace and for Roy. We ask you, Lord, to comfort those who mourn, especially at this time of Christmas. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly King, let us follow the star of Bethlehem this Advent and prepare for the coming of Jesus' birth. Guide us with your never-ending love and compassion as we place all our trust and hope in you. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. In the tender mercy of our God, the day spring from on high shall break upon us to light, give light to those who dwell in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And now we sing our next carol.
The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is indeed right and good to give you thanks and praise, Almighty God and Everlasting Father, through Jesus Christ your Son. He is the one foretold by all the prophets, whom the Virgin Mother bore with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist was his herald, and made him known when at last he came. In his love Christ fills us with joy as we prepare to celebrate his birth, that when he comes again he may find us watching in prayer our hearts filled with wonder and praise. And so, with angels and archangels, with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your glory and join in their unending hymn of praise. a wonderful father we remember when Jesus had supper with his friends the night before he died he took bread he thanked you he broke it and gave it to his friends and said take this and eat it this is my body given for you do this to remember me after supper Jesus took the cup of wine he thanked you gave it to his friends and said all of you drink from this cup because this is my blood the new promise of God's love. Do this every time you drink it to remember me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. So loving Father, remembering how dearly Jesus loves us, we should love him too. Send your Holy Spirit gentle as a dove on us and on these gifts. So with everyone who eats and drinks this bread and wine, the body and blood of Jesus, we may be full of your life and goodness. Help us to walk hand in hand with Jesus and live our lives for him. All honour and glory belong to you, Father, through Jesus, your Son, with the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, as in forgive and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed.
Heavenly Father, who chose the Blessed Virgin Mary to be the mother of the promised Saviour, fill us, your servants, with your grace, that in all things we may be embrace your holy will, and with her rejoice in your salvation, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now we sing our final hymn. Thank you for joining me again this morning. It's been good to be with you and I trust as we face the disappointment of Christmas that we uh, remember that Christmas is good news for us all. It's important we stay safe. The first Christmas was simple and if this Christmas has to be simple and we make do with what we find and what we have, then it still, hopefully, will be a time of joy. As I said earlier, tomorrow night, Monday the 21st, we have our virtual carol service. That will be available from 7 o'clock. The link will be found on the Facebook page. Christmas, the first Mass of Christmas, 
often celebrated at 11.30, you need to be over through midnight, uh, will be available from 6 o'clock on Christmas Eve, and next Sunday there will be a service uh, that will be available for you. Christ, the Son of Righteousness, shine upon you, scatter the darkness from before your path, and make you ready to meet him when he comes in glory. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord.